Begin laying face up on the ground with your arms outstretched to the sides like the letter T. Bend your knees up over your hips so that your hips are flexed 90 degrees. And we want to always keep the knees in line with the hips. From here, you're gently going to lower your legs down to one side as far as you can at the moment. Then once you get there, you're going to take your same side hand and support it from underneath to take the weight off. You can at this point tense some of the muscles as if you were going to rotate back up. Then you release this hand and you let the legs drop a little bit more. Then you put the hand back under, take the weight off, fire some of the muscles in here, release the hand, progress down a little further into the stretch, and repeat progressing your way all the way down. Now, this is the way to do this for more sensitive hips and spines. There is a more progressed way to do this technique. Why don't we just go to the other side for the progression here. So you would lower down. Now from here, you would take the same side hand and instead of supporting it from under, you have it on top and now you actively twist the lower body into the hand while the hand remains in a movable barrier. Then you release, you let it drop down into the newly liberated range of motion and you repeat. Put the top hand there, you're rotating up into it. You do not have to have the knees together on this, you just do the best you can, that's fine. Ultimately, for your progress, we're looking for the lateral thigh to eventually touch the ground in order to achieve our ideal range of motion for this technique here. The main thing to watch is that many clients will try to drop their knees downward towards their feet to loosen up. You just need to make sure that they keep the knees in line with the hips for this technique. It's an excellent technique for being able to optimize range of motion with rotation.